Okay, hello dear friends, good evening, such a beautiful, beautiful evening. So this video, okay, there are some more brushes. It's an empty talk, only talk about brushes, but uh, I may not use all of them. And uh, I have two things for now, I am thinking of two questions from two different friends. One friend asking how to how do I take care of my brushes if I wash them or not. Uh, I try not to make my uh, my home the drainage too dirty. So there are this water I can put into the kitchen drain or maybe I can just finish them. And uh, uh, by trying to finish, I need to get my hands with the, with the brush to do practice. I take it as a positive or an active way, cleaning the brush and do some exercise. I think it's good. So um, I will just use this to clean up the palette. But the palette is never always, uh, it's never really clean. It's just as much as you can, you can do it and uh, start to do some practice. And for this kind of uh, very, very light color, there is almost not possible. I have used this for a long time. It's almost not possible to, to finish all this color. <laughs> I have used a couple of months and uh, some color I use more, some color I use less. I use uh, um, recycled paper. I don't know about your family. We have two sons and just finished um, in this couple of years, finished SAT. So I have tons of this X SAT practice paper and uh, I have uh, a lot of uh, a lot of not only practice paper and as a teacher and if you work in a company your company always have a lot of uh, recycled paper the 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 mistaken printing and maybe now we do not have that many, but uh, at school you always have a lot of worksheets and stuff, so I have a lot of them. So I just practice until I finish them. I put a lot of water, a lot of water. Do practice calligraphy or just writing. And there is not a particular goal. I know. I got questioned by by people. What are you doing? I think one of the very fundamental thing about art. is that you can allow your mind to wonder and not take it serious. It is not pretty, it's okay. It is not right, it's okay. This is not project management. This is not a homework. This is not obligatoire. You try. You never know what is right, what is wrong, 
until you put your hands on. And you never know this thing works for you or not until you make it wrong. Then you figure out, wow, that is wrong. And that does not work. And you look for something else. Okay, so do practice. Do a lot of practice until you finish your paper. Until you finish the water. This way, your water drain will not be dirty. And last night, I write Chinese calligraphy. And and uh, now I am not writing Chinese calligraphy because for me writing Chinese calligraphy is a very, 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 a holy thing, kind of. I cannot talk and write feels like disrespect. I sometimes got friends say, how about you make a video to explain it? The problem is I never make video for other people. I make it for myself. So if I do calligraphy for myself, I am serious. I am in awe of it. I am scared. And the calligraphy itself is scary. It's quite scary because it's such a holy thing. It's such a, a no joking thing. I cannot just talk. So keep on practice. Usually what I practice, if not making this video, I use my um, scratch paper to do calligraphy, to do exercise. But uh, as a respect for you, I will not use. And also, it's very fun to see where your brush, lens, touches paper. The water stays, and the rest, the water is just going away. And here, the dark part is where the water, where the brush touches. The paper surface and uh, the, 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 the emerging place, the absorbent, the, the smearing, is that smearing? The, the expanded place is just the water. Love it. Like to see this. Enjoy doing practice just like this and keep on practice put a lot of water because it is hard to control when there is a lot of water and this is one of the best way to control your hand to learn about hand balance balance equilibrium A lot of fun doing this and uh, so this is how I clean up my brush so this is very very light almost okay so when I finish what I do 
I use a piece of uh, tissue paper, Esu, Esava, Esava. Il n'a pas trop de gomme déjà. Il n'a pas trop de gomme. There is not much glue. Mais on se met au tiers là. Donc ça me dérange pas. Ça ça détruit pas le pinceau. Ça va pas détruire. Quand il y a trop de gomme, gomme, trop sticky, ça détruit le pinceau. Me sava meant no sava. So when there is a lot of a, a glue, you know, watercolor, any color, any pigment has glue, has this bonding. And especially Chinese ink has a lot of natural glue, like um, uh, like skin, our skin, not human skin, <laughs> fish skin and chicken skin. And those skin, those those are natural glues, and um, so you, it's better you clean it up. How clean it is, like this, I am good with it. And you can press a little bit or not to press. That is not so um, so vital. And then put it like this should be good. Put it aside. Okay, so that is how to take care of your brush. And um, I like to take care of my brush just this very simple way. And I got uh, uh, one friend ask, um, ask me to recommend some brushes. I think um, she is definitely not beginner. She is very, very, very good. Okay, here we take a look at some brushes. This is a, a white cloud. White cloud is made. It's already dirty, so it does not look white at all because I use it for silk painting use silk dye and watercolor and ink so it becomes dirty so you can see after some time it lose its sharpness and uh, the the brush feels dull D -U -L -L. it feels just not sharp reason it's made of gold here gold here is relatively soft and uh, it's not very strong, so it is kind of easy to to use up the tip. But if you have, um, if you use it very lightly, this is a big brush. You usually use big brush with a lot of strength. And these two brush, they are both white cloud, but this one is smaller. I use it much more delicately. So it still feels right. It feels still feels sharp. One of the reason is because I use it light. And the reason I use it light because the the branch is thin. When you hold something very thin, very slender, very very elegant, very sleek, your hand movement is slower, more delicate, and that's the reason it uh, it is used much less. And this one, it's a poor brush. You can see I use it quite hardly. I think I give it to my students, and in classroom we use it. So it's not uh, it's uh, kind of damaged. Okay. What kind of brush to use for Chinese painting? And I have seen your painting. In Chinese painting, what I have seen the artist, they like to use long hair. Because when you use long hair, 
you can make it seem by having a good hand control. This brush, this is quite long, but I can do very, very delicate words with it because I can control my hand. I know how to control my hand. When you are beyond beginner, when you do practice all the time, you know how to control your hand. This I can write very thin. See? This is a new brush, some hair coming out. But you can make very, very thin just by controlling your hand. At the same time, I can write so big. That's the good thing of it. By a long, slender brush, which is more versatile. And you hold one brush thin and uh, you always use it very delicately for the branch, for the leaves, for the details. Maybe this is not good for the tree. I saw you do some trees and this hu jiao dian, this uh, uh, pepper dots. It's better not to use this. Use another uh, kind of more rough and less expensive or this is smaller size see here i have another one i like it also i didn't wash it very well this uh, if you make a quite large painting this one i didn't clean it very well so there is some glue uh, left over on it okay so let me make it long story short i have these two this couple of brushes i really love okay now we explain some of this might be too thin this might be too thin it's a beautiful brush i love it and it's very strong it's a whisker brush i think uh shihuan gou xin it's a weasel with a very strong hair, very stiff. Okay, these are um, wolf hair. Let me show you. This, these are all wolf hair. This one, the first one, the darker one, is called um, Jin Si, Jin si Lang Xuan. I just got from China, this one. It's, a, it's the same as this one. It's a relatively uh, stronger, but uh, the, the brush is kind of stick. Uh, the, 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 the hair is relatively stiff. And uh, when you use it, its individuality is very strong, so it does not come back uh, better. And this one, this is this, and this one is orchid bamboo, is one level better than this brush. And uh, you open it up, you can write it beautifully and come back to its shape. But if you see clearly, this one, this one, this, this is the same, the same orchid bamboo. This one seems even more refined. This one even more refined and longer. The good thing about this more refined, it's, it has its own individuality but there are more power in it. 
because each one is more refined. This one is the, the thickest one, medium and the most refined. These two are much more refined. If your hand has the ability to control so long, I really love this one. I love this one. Okay, here are some other. This is Shanma. Shanma is mountain horse, horse mane. The, the ponytail, not ponytail, not tail, mane, the hair. The, you can make breed of their hair. Mm. It's much stronger. I have this one. You can feel it. You can feel it. It is so strong. It's so good for doing cha, 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 cha. The big mountain, huge mountain. But I have seen your painting. It seems not so large size. So this or this pure, this is called Bei Chunlang Hao, pure wolf hair. This is one of the best brush. And this is Changfeng Chunlang Hao, Chunlang Hao uh, Changfeng. And they are both very good, but this is longer. So I would recommend either of these or two of them. If you buy two of them, I will send a couple of brushes as uh, as my complimentary as gift okay so these two brushes i really love and if you want some other brushes there are different other brushes they are all good and it's hard to explain how good uh, look at this Silky good. I think this is Xie Jin. Hu Sheng Xie. Yeah. This one is Xie Jin Bi. This one is not any more hair. This time I went to China, or last time, let's say. Last time I went to China. And in China, the, the Buddhists do not kill animals right so they do not use animal hair and this is a synthetic hair it's another beautiful xiao jin zhang oh i love all this okay i think all of them are there it is hard for me to recommend if i have to recommend i would say these two brushes for one of these or these two Okay, one is wool, pure wolf hair, pure wolf, long pure wolf hair, pure wolf hair, long slender pure wolf hair. Okay, the rest I will give some as complimentary. And um, Mountain Horse is one of the uh, quite expensive brush for some reason. That's about it. I think this, oh yes, this brush after some times, it becomes softer. Look at it. Now I hold this one to try to run. It becomes quite hard to write if you do not have a, a wonderful hand control. If you want to do it right, there are different color. Come around. But this one is mostly for 
just a very delicate I see a lot of artists they like to have their hand totally suspended and right okay. there are some mistakes in the SAT practice they like to So that's about it. I have all these brushes, all of them on my Etsy shop. You can take a look. Gosh, it's kind of hard to, to, to explain, but you get the idea. And uh, maybe you let me know your budget or something. I will make a, a a choice for you because I have a very 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 high admiration for artists artists they I really admire your artwork yeah. oh, look at this another beautiful Long Hao Tsung Kai wow Beijing haha Xinfang Yuan is this is a quite a famous brand my mother used to use it. I love you, I really do. Do 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 bye bye friends. I don't look at this. This is not this looks a little bit not good looking. Anyway, bye bye friends. Just uh, be silly and uh, enjoy a little bit. Our water is not totally used up let me try to use up more this way my waterway will be clean <laughs> okay i will keep on doing this let me see this brush and also another thing your brush uh, is stiff it's okay don't worry it's only glue and this glue are not industrial glue they are not uh, um, they are not uh, um, permanent glue that's the word they are not permanent they are not plastic after you soak in water for some time it will be good you can continue to use it. Yeah, I am finishing half. Why there is a glitter 
this gold glitter. Oh, I have used some of the brush with glitter paint. Oh, I remember. I have a, a, a watercolor plate of glitter paint. I remember this. That's so good. Okay, let me try to use this mountain horse. And if I remember right, this must be my mother's brush. It looks like, this tape looks like my mother's tape. And I use a scotch tape. This looks like the, the old, 40 years old tape. So you see, I, I even I can feel the, the bounty of this brush. So strong. Cha, 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 cha. My mother used this to paint peony. She used to paint. You can go. Bye bye, friends. I love you. Now I clean it a little bit. Next time, soaking water, it will be good. And sometimes, uh, when the brush is really not good, and this one is really not good, I, I know it's not good. Inside, the hair is not good. And I bought it from, um, from uh, a market, a street market. And I actually, the price is so inexpensive, it's uh, suspiciously inexpensive. So it's really not a good brush. Some of my uh, quite poor brush, I actually cut it. Cut into different kind of shape. Some, I press it like this, and then cut into jig, 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 so that when I want to have some special effect it comes out and some i cut on the side so it has some effect it has or some just so you get a good uh, a good texture producing i think i have talked enough you must be very 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 want to go to sleep right this one has been cleaned quite well. That's a good brush. I can feel it. I can feel it. A good brush talks. And uh, I think uh, 40 years ago, when I, no, not 40, 30 years ago, when I do the antique things, my friend does antique. So I learned something about uh, ceramics and uh, this is why i i like to talk about ceramics okay i need to show you one of my beautiful um beautiful cup Ceramic. I like ceramics. So look at this beautiful cup. Hand painted with one, two, three, four, three leaves and with a drainer. How do you use this drainer? Cover it, use it for yourself, 
and the bottom is flat and large so it is safe I do not like the cup with very slanted bottom so it's just not stable and this one is stable and take this one out put tea in the good thing about this it's kind of easier to to clean it up it's a ceramic and always glaze all here always glaze so for oolong tea for real loose leaf tea good quality loose leaf tea the tea leaf will be stopped because tea leaf is bigger than this but for ruibus maybe not put it here it's a little bit round a little bit but uh, by um, by physics it will not fall down even if it uh, uh, it uh, um, it wobble a little bit but it will not fall down uh, the weight the center of weight the center of gravity is always inside it it's very beautiful and a little bit greenish color and the shape is like melon on the back there is no words look at it it's beautiful and uh, the the technique is first you make the shape and then put uh, a layer of protection or a, a layer of this light green glaze and then do the painting and it's a little bit relief it's a little bit pop up this but not too much you can see the brush stroke of it and uh, I like the design very simple very elegant there is one uh, bamboo there is one chrysanthemum and uh, I will get the bamboo a bit later but also the, the, the same kind of green yeah. so why do I talk about this so I like these uh, ceramic things and beautiful things. I like just like good things. And uh, take good care of yourself. Enjoy life. I think that's uh, about it. And uh, you have a beautiful, beautiful evening. Oh. Uh, some friends ask about this little teapot. Okay, some friends ask about the teapot. So this I have measured. It's uh, uh, 200... Uh, 250 to 300 milliliter of, uh, of liquid capacity. This one is a landscape, the front, the back. Gu Fan Yuan Yin Bi Kong Jin Wen Jian Chang Jiang Tian Ji Liu. It's handwritten and uh, this is a uh, um, this is uh, an ancient poem, Tang Dynasty, Tang Shi San Bai Shou Li Tou. So, Gu Fan Yuan Yin Bi Kong Jin, Wei Jin Chang Jiang Tian Ji Liu. So, the poet is here and see a single, oh, oh it's already gone, uh, a single sail sailing away, sailing go further further away to the sky and the only thing I can see is the long river or the Yangtze river come from heaven come from the sky the big river
beautiful right and one friend asked what is this this is Jing De Zhen Jing De Zhen is in Jiangxi province is the capital of uh, ceramic and uh, why they are so good because they have a, a, a good uh, good soil the soil in there is very very good okay that is the one and here is another one that has uh, a different color the other day we have seen that and today we have this royal red color Jing De Zhen Zhi also Jing De Zhen is uh, Chinese ceramic capital see the front and back has different color Okay, bye bye, friends. I will not spend too much of your time. Enjoy it. I, I should not worry about it because you are already sound asleep.